Welcome back to Makeover Monday here on Varia Living Live. Coming up a little later, we're going to answer your biggest health questions in a special edition of Ask the Doctor. But first, we're back with Emmy Award winning talk show host Montel Williams. I'm so thrilled that you're here. Thank it's so you. great. Thank you. It's so great to talk to you and kind of like get this behind the scenes knowledge of all those years, you know, that you were on TV and, and so Seven, many of us watched you. 17 plus years, as you said earlier. Is there anything that you miss really about the daily grind of doing it? Because we were talking before we went on the air. You did some long days, and, and a lot of them. I mean, I, I gotta tell you something. I love my show. I was invited into people's living rooms for 17 years straight, something you don't know. 109 other hosts got shows and were canceled while I was on the air. Wow. 109 That's shows crazy. came and went. Same power right there. Yeah. So I love the show, but after 17 years of, and you know, we, I, I, I wasn't, you know, uh, Jerry Springer. I, we did real issues, real people try to come up with solutions. And so we did some really heavy topics. Yeah. So after 17 years, I literally had to take a little bit break because emotionally it was starting to really wear on me. And I had MS and you know, I was suffering at the time what we thought was from depression. Mm -hmm. I'm talking like, you know, early 2000. I thought yeah. I was suffering from depression when I first got diagnosed, but it wasn't. I found out after, doing what I had said to our guest. I decided to take control of my individual healthcare footprint. Yeah. If doctors were so smart, none of us would be sick. They're not God. <laughs> right. So since they're not, you know, you go to one and he says one thing, you go to another and they say another thing. I got tired of hearing multiple things. I started doing the research myself. And as yeah. I've done more and more research, I started figuring out the things that I needed to do to affect me. So I made a complete change in my body and, it, and it's working. Yeah, that, that's yeah. awesome. You're going to spend more time and effort trying to heal yourself than a doctor who has to see how many patients. But when you do that for yourself, and like you were, you were talking to our viewer, you know, you have that drive and that passion, and you, you are determined to heal. Nothing can stop you at that point. The, the, the truth of the matter is I've had so much fun being alive. Yeah. Yeah. Just because I got a diagnosis doesn't mean I go sit at home and wait to die. Yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, that's what these doctors are doing. They say, oh, oh, oh I'm so sorry. No. I'm so sorry. That's what the guy looked me in the face and said, you're not, you're not going to have to cancel your show. You're not going to be able to do I'm like, are you crazy? You didn't know me before I walked in the door. How yeah. can you make that judgment of me? You don't have a crystal ball. So I've been working as hard as I can, seeing, seeking out treatments around the planet. I'm on a, on a very experimental program right now that I've been on now for the last four years that i got to tell you guys about. I'm so excited about it because we're in the FDA process right now. We're going to end up getting FDA approval within the next year and a half. This, I'm working on a medical device that is going to change the way science approaches brain science and health. Hmm. Wow. And it's an amazing device. It was at the University of Wisconsin. It's now part of a protocol that I'm moving forward. We've already signed a contract with the federal government, and it's coming your way. That's yeah. awesome. Okay, yeah. awesome. Yeah. Great. So I'm talking about the man can't be stopped. Now, speaking of that, you are, you are so active physically. We were talking about, I mean, you, you got up this morning, and, and you worked out an hour and a half, basically, before you came here. I mean, Five the man three. is amazing. Also, one thing that people might not know, recently, you went hella boarding. <laughs> And this is insane. Wait, I think is, we have some video of it here. Well, oh. heliboarding is I basically use the helicopter as my lift chair. But I should tell you that I've been doing this since my diagnosis, and I'll tell you why. When I was first diagnosed, I was extremely heat sensitive. I could not be in, the, in a temperature above 90 degrees. I hit the pavement multiple times. So for, from 2000 to about 2006, I used to travel to Chile every summer. When it gets hot here, I would go out of North America and spend it in the winter and come back. Wow. Because of what I've been working on so hard for the last four years with my MS, I've now almost gotten control of my heat sensitivity. So now I get to just snowboard for fun. I'm going heliboarding in about two weeks. You are? Awesome. What, what is that it, right there going was through chilling. your head as you're, you know, jumping uh, out the helicopter? Uh, it's, and... it's, 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 it's amazing. You get in this helicopter and, and you fly up to the top of a peak. There's no one else there. You look down in front of you. It's completely pristine, perfect white snow, not a track on it. You just step up to the top. Now, when I get up there, this is like 13, 14,000 feet. Put your little board on <laughs> and then go over the edge. And as you go over the edge, it's... <laughs> <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, That's what I thought. Listen, does your wife awesome. approve of this? No, 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 <laughs> no. Wait, if you You're talk like, to no TT, way. you talk to TT, every time I get ready to do this for the next five days, she's going to be going, you don't have to do this. <laughs> This really is unnecessary. <laughs> you don't have to do this, but she she has my back because she knows I really love her. Yeah. Well, you uh, you have a beautiful a beautiful wife, a beautiful family. Thank you. There's there's your wife right there. Too. That's my baby right there. You are. <laughs> well, I can tell you something. Yeah, she is she is is ten million times more beautiful on the inside because, you know, you get to see her from time to time walking a red carpet, but. 
<laughs> Nobody gets to see the nights that I'm like this and I need her to comfort me for two hours. Mm -hmm. Nobody gets to see when I can't walk. You know, we hold hands a lot in public. You'll see us, and people always say, oh, that's so sweet, you guys do that. She's holding me up from times to times. And she knows exactly when to slide into the right place to keep me from falling over. Oh, you're going to so, make me cry. Oh, my God. Now no, I'm tearing up. No, We're no. just going to have a time here. <laughs> I'm sorry. So, no, but, you're fine. No, you're totally fine. I, that's beautiful. But the truth of the matter is I'm, I'm more blessed by the fact that she was truly put here to help take care of me and help me be the best that I can be. And she does it every day. Wow. You're amazing. Yes. You're you're an inspiration, and you're you're a fighter above everything else. Mm -hmm. And and I'm I'm just blown away at mm -hmm. you know what you've done and how you've just tackled this illness and said no, I, I will not be a victim. Again, I I just understand I can only get busy living. I'm not getting busy dying. Yeah. There's mm -hmm. so much more for us to do. So much more for us to share. Yeah. You know, you guys were given blessings like you don't understand oh, yeah. to be able <laughs> to sit in the stage and be able to present yourself. There's maybe one in every million people that can do this. Yeah. But if you stop using that blessing, a lot of your others are going to go away. Yeah. Continue to communicate. Give back to other people, and you get so much more return. Oh, absolutely. Mm -hmm. uh, and I'm a total believer in that. Speaking of um, health and all of that, I know that your daughter was um, diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma in yes. the fall. How's she doing? It's amazing. I tell you, i, I, I got to throw out a little shout-out to Dr. Mehmet Oz for a second, because mm -hmm. Oz is a really good friend of mine. And when I got that call from my daughter, I called him immediately. Mm -hmm. An hour later, he calls me. We talk. He calls me back and says, Montel, come on my show and bring your daughter on because this is the fastest growing cancer among young women between the ages of 18 and 26, and we need to talk about this. So we were on a show two days later, wow. and then he let uh, Marissa blog for a full the last three and a half months. I should tell you this, that she is now, knock on wood, she's in remission. Mm -hmm. She went through one, her first rounds of chemotherapy. She never had to have any radiation. And they've stopped it, so she's right now healing and coming back. So Good. Uh, thank God for that. Yes, that's great to hear. Yeah, it's one thing to go through health issues yourself, but when it's your child, oh, you Lord, know. Oh, I was like yeah. babbling yeah. idiot. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, listen, we got to take a break. But coming up next, we're going to hit the kitchen with Robin and best-selling cookbook author Danielle Walker. And Montel's going to stick around, but we're going to reveal a snack coming up so addictive you won't believe it when we reveal the secret healthy ingredient inside. Don't go away. You're watching Maria Living Life. Thank you very much. Thank you.